Okay, let's just give the people what they want. Here are the top sex tip clips. We're gonna get real personal. And <laughs> <laughs> you can kiss them, you can nibble on them. Why do you need a safe word? That's what I wanna know. What are you doing to each other? Yes, I just said mm. And maybe they won't be into it, maybe they'll be like, that's really weird. Get maybe that a weird amount. Hey there, welcome back to Fridays with Dave and Ashley on the EXO Marriage YouTube channel where you get real marriage advice from real people like us. And you guys, we are making it a little spicy today, right? Because we just found out from our producer, Eric, that the most popular part of these Fridays with Dave and Ashley happened to be the sex tip part. That's right. So You guys are into the sex tips. That's and right. And we say, let's give the people what they want. I mean, we need to. You want the sex tips, you've got the sex tips. So what we have done today <laughs> is we have put together, and by we, I mean the team that's more talented than us. Yes including Eric and Cam and, no, not Cam. Christian. We have a Cam on staff at our church that does videos, and That's I get right. sometimes videos. Christian is the video maestro <laughs> at XO. And <laughs> Christian, just to give you a shout out, you might be the world's best YouTube editor. <laughs> and Eric, of course, is the best producer. That's right. And Ashley's the best wife. And so we, oh have, my goodness. we have it all put together. We have put a compilation of greatest hits sex tips and so i want to challenge you to not only watch all these sex tips but try them all do it and then put in the comments which one you found to be your favorite wow if you want you know and no we're gonna get real personal and <laughs> <laughs> okay let's just give the people what they want here are the top sex tip clips they talk about the safe word thing. <laughs> it's not, why, why do you need a safe word? That's what I want to know. What are you doing to each other? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Where you need a special word other than just stop. Or to I make don't it like stop. that. That hurts. Why do you have to yell Philadelphia to make it? <laughs> make, why, where, That's actually kind of like a long word. Right, yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. If you watch The Office, foliage was... <laughs> Foliage. I mean, I don't. I just don't get it. It's I don't a, understand. It's a hilarious concept. The safe word. But I'm also concerned for you if you're doing things to one another that are so painful and bizarre that you have to have a special word other than just "Hey, let hey stop." Yeah. I don't like that. You know. I don't know. But communicate, right? I, I think perhaps maybe just the sex tip needs to be communicate. Yes. And communicate throughout the day about all different kinds of things because connection outside the bedroom leads to connection inside the bedroom. But when it comes to sex itself, actually talk about it. You know, say what you like and what you don't like and be specific and be complimentary and encourage one another. And don't forget to keep your sense of humor through all of it. You've got to be able to just talk and laugh and connect. And if you feel like you can't say something, you're missing out on that full intimacy that comes when you can just be completely real and vulnerable and open. And so you got to be willing to talk about it. Like, hey, you know, I, I really like this or, or you know, this, I'm not I'm not really into into this. Not only will your sex life improve as your communication improves, but every other part of your marriage will improve, too. That's right. What is it, sweetie? What is it? Yeah. I'm kind of doing it right now. So talk sexy? No. <laughs> I'm building anticipation. <laughs> That's right. My sex tip for the day is to prolong the foreplay and the anticipation wow. leading up <laughs> to spend a little more time. I feel like Barry White should be playing right now. Like, yeah, baby. Or no, Marvin Gaye, like, let's get it on. I've been really oh, trying, baby. baby. We greet the <laughs> Make out a little longer, caress a little longer. Like, and even when you feel ready to jump into the act, and I think especially, you know, in our season, like there's 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 kids and it's, you know, we look at everything in life. We're like, okay, let's do this, let's do this, let's check something off, let's get it done. But to prolong getting there, even when you both feel ready to do it, to just take a little bit longer with the warm up, with the anticipation, and that will heighten the experience for both of you. So there you go. anticipation makes the, the heart grow fonder and it also makes Oh gosh. <laughs> Other things. Well, I think this one uh, is, it could be very helpful to a lot of people. And that yeah. is lubrication. Yes, I just said lubrication. Mm. And that you don't have to necessarily use 
what you see in the store. Okay. Like people don't know this necessarily, but a lot of people they, like they don't publicly talk about this, but there are a lot of people out there that are allergic to like KY jelly and the oils, the his and her oil and stuff. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that enjoy that too, but I think that it's made with stuff that maybe is irritable to some people and sure. that's, that'll definitely kill the mood if you know what I mean. So I would say like consider some more natural options like coconut oil, you know, obviously don't use it if you're allergic to coconuts, coconut. but there's safflower, safflower oil and, and there's others. You can do your research, you know, there's others. So literally you can buy it in like the cooking section. A lot of doctors recommend these more natural options. And they're cheaper so, too, yeah, they're because cheaper. You're, you're paying this premium upcharge for, uh, for all the advertising around like the kind of name brand lubes, but yeah. cooking oils are super cheap. And I'm telling you, like it's natural. There's a very low chance you're allergic. They work they great. The job. You know, as we age, a lot of times you may not have needed lube in the past, but you might need it. Like when a woman is going through menopause, I'm not quite there yet, but from my friends who have been through this, they talk about this. And so, you know, there's no shame in that. Like just get what you need to, to make it a more pleasurable experience for both of you. Can I say or, something about submission? I submit oh my to your sexual expertise. I'm not an expert and by any stretch of the imagination. And whatever it is that you tell me to do right now. Oh my gosh. I, you, I submit to that. You are so silly. Okay, we've talked about like generalities in sex, but I'm actually gonna give you an actual like tip to try with your spouse, okay? And that mm -hmm. is don't neglect the earlobes. Don't neglect the earlobes, okay? You may have not thought about this. And, an Ear often lobes. overlooked erogenous zone. It's an erogenous zone, you guys. Like the... What? What I did? I didn't... Take that out. <laughs> <laughs> so this stuff is only for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ooh, this is so wrong. Okay. Earlobes. You can kiss them. You can nibble on them. You can do a lot with an earlobe that is going to enhance your sexual experience. Okay? You may not have known this. Yeah. Maybe you saw Meet the Fockers and you saw them talk about this. Like she, she does this, but it's a real thing. Like she was a sex therapist in the movie. It's a real thing. So try it. If you don't believe me, like try it. Yeah. I challenge yeah. you. While you're, while you're kissing, while you're in the moment, women. you know, just lean over there and, and you know, give, give it a little something. Yeah. Don't neglect the lobes. And maybe they won't be into it. Maybe they'll be like, that's really weird. Get maybe off. that'll weird them out. There are so many areas I'd prefer you to give don't that attention sloppy. to. Don't be sloppy. Don't be sloppy with it. <laughs> but they might be like, you know what? That's surprisingly enjoyable. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So you might, um, you know, just explore, explore each other. There you go. I know we've talked about time of day, but I think you also need to think about the place. And I know for some people, when it comes to a hotel room, there are some people where that is like exciting. Well, as soon as I get to the hotel, we, yeah. we both look at the bed of the hotel with equal excitement, but it's for different reasons. Yes. Ashley looks at the bed and she's like, yes nap. And I look at the bed and I'm like, yes, sex. Yes. And so we have to navigate those different expectations. Because well, I like our bed and I feel like there's a comfort in it being my own bed. I like any Evidently, setting. With Dave is not alone. Like children hotel not rooms. around. Right. I think, you know, it's like, there's no distraction. It's new. Let's just jump in. Right. Let's christen this place. Right. But here's my thing. I think it's more exciting if you christen a place that you frequent, like maybe every room in your house, like when you're newlyweds, you have no kids. You can kind of have a little smirk on your face because you know, right. you know what happened. And we were newlyweds. We only had two rooms in our house. <laughs> and so right. it didn't take us long to really make the rounds. Oh my gosh. Don't be afraid to like break out of your routine. Like anything, any part of life or marriage, you can fall into a rut of just predictability. And sometimes just a simple change of scenery can help you break out of that rut before it becomes a rut. Yeah. And so continue to explore with one another. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs>